Hello, friends, and welcome to The Architecture Enthusiast. Marian Mahoney Griffin was not just an architect, but a pioneer, often overlooked beside her more famous contemporaries like Frank Lloyd Wright and her husband, Walter Burley Griffin. As one of the first licensed female architects in the world, her contributions to architecture and urban planning are profound, marked by her distinctive approach to design and representation. Architectural historian and critic Paul Crudy has noted, Marion brought a level of detail and a sensitivity to the settings of buildings that Wright's work lacked before her arrival. Her influence on the development of his stylistic identity cannot be overstated. Her drawings for Wright, including those for the famous Wasmuth Portfolio, a 1910 publication that introduced Wright's work to a European audience, were pivotal in shaping the perception of Wright as a pioneer of modern American architecture. Marion Mahoney Griffin's work is best understood through her holistic view of architecture, which encompassed not only the design of buildings, but also the planning of the landscape and the broader environment. Her drawings, particularly for the Canberra project which she collaborated on with her husband, were more than mere architectural plans. They were artworks in their own right, deeply imbued with the ethos of the Prairie School of Architecture. These designs emphasized horizontal lines, integration with the landscape, and a democratic approach to space, which was revolutionary in the early 20th century. Her architectural style was heavily influenced by her belief in the unity of design and nature. She often used natural materials native to a project's region, advocating for a seamless integration of building and environment. Her designs featured strong, geometric lines and broad, sheltering roofs which both respected and enhanced the natural settings of her projects. This approach is vividly apparent in her residential projects, where she designed homes that were not just places to live, but sanctuaries that offered a deep connection to their surroundings. Critics have often noted Marion Mahoney Griffin's unique ability to blend architecture with graphic art. Her renderings are celebrated for their detailed and lush representations, which more than just depicting a building, captured the spirit of the envisioned space. Architectural historian Rainer Banham praised her, stating, Her renderings of the Griffin's projects were among the most powerful and evocative of any architectural drawings of the 20th century. However, Marion's career was not without its challenges and criticisms. Being a woman in a predominantly male profession, she often did not receive the recognition she deserved, and her contributions were sometimes overshadowed by those of her male counterparts. In the professional realm, her work was occasionally critiqued for its idiosyncratic style and for being impractically ambitious, particularly in the context of large-scale projects like the Kimbera Plan, which faced significant political and financial constraints. Despite these challenges, Marion Mahoney Griffin's influence on architecture extends beyond her buildings and drawings. Her work in urban planning, particularly her contributions to the development of Canberra, Australia's capital city, showcased her visionary ideas about community and environmental design. She imagined urban spaces as organic holes that fostered community and connectivity, integrating green belts, public parks, and natural landscapes into the urban fabric. In retrospect, the architectural philosophy of Marion Mahoney Griffin was ahead of its time. Her approach anticipated many of the principles of sustainable and ecological design that have become crucial in contemporary architecture. She saw the architect not merely as a builder of houses, but as a creator of environments that enhanced human well-being and respected the natural world. Today, Marion Mahoney Griffin's legacy is increasingly recognized not only for her role as a collaborator of Walter Burley Griffin, but also as a significant architect in her own right. Her works and plans continue to be studied for their innovative blending of architecture with natural environments and for their groundbreaking graphical techniques. As the world moves towards more sustainable and integrated architectural practices, her work remains profoundly relevant, offering inspiration and direction for architects and planners seeking to harmonize the built environment with the natural landscape. Marion Mahoney Griffin remains a seminal figure in architecture whose vision and execution continue to resonate across the boundaries of time and geography.